up you guys today we're gonna do the quick unboxing of the Canic Mate Meta SFT Pro so when it was first announced I was looking for it for a little bit couldn't find them in stock I finally found one and picked one up so here's a quick unboxing show you guys what it comes with so here's everything uh, this is your quality little tag on there get a lock and you get two plates for your red dot you get one 20 round mag so it is 18 plus 2 and then you get your 18 round mag flush fit with your little speed loader on there actually you want know let me show you what's back here Cleaning little tools here. You got extra back straps. You know, for you guys with different, you know, hand sizes. You got the large, the medium, and I think the small that comes on there. There's a little wrench for your thread protector that comes on there. And then your takedown pin. It's pretty cool. It's a little taper on there. And then your mechanic. It's also chambered in 9 mil. No, I'm just kidding. So this one's pretty cool. It has all of your little tools. I'll show you when we get to it because I am going to be installing that Polo Sun on there. So you got all your paperwork and all that fun stuff. And the gun itself. It comes in this. I think it's outside and inside. Or outside or inside the waistband. Also, by just unscrewing here, putting them in the front, and yeah. I mean, it's not the best holster, but at least it is a holster. And then here it is. This thing to me is gorgeous. I love these super deep cuts on the front. The top. You know, everything is awesome about it. I like that they match those with the serrations. So it looks cool on there. It is, obviously, like I said earlier, RMR cut or red dot cut not rmr um tritium tritium night sight striker fired and then the cool thing about this is you have different size mag release buttons this is the i don't know if you can see it right there it's small that's for small and then this one does come with that upgraded trigger so it is safe and it's super super crisp right there and check out that reset it's so clean um takedown is pretty easy kind of like a glock you have to fire obviously your pull your trigger pull these down come forward you don't go all the way forward it has these little tabs right there as you can see come up and it's out here's your internals and then here's the slide, obviously your spring, your recoil spring or guide rod. And I would take off the barrel, but I don't want to take this off right now. No need to. But it comes off like any other Glock or any other pistol. You just pull it up, pull it out. You know, same thing. And I believe those little holes are for our, your red dot up here. Yeah. This is my first Canic. I've hesitated getting one. Saw this one, thought it looked cool. Again, line it up with those little pins in the front right there, and you're set. So, real quick, I am gonna toss the Holosun 407, no, sorry, 507K on here. It is off of my Ruger Max 9. I went with the 407K for my Ruger, which is my concealed carry, just because it does have a 6 MOA dot, so went with that. They move everything to the side, and then we'll come right back up top. All right, now this is where this little tool comes in handy. Let's see, let me pop the little cap off, and you have all of your necessary equipment in there. Kind of stuffed it in there last time. Oh, I see. 
where you might lose them by you know, flopping out. <laughs> so, comes with these three little tools torque spits and a regular Allen. I don't know if they have the size on there. Yeah, so, this is a CRV 2.0. This is a T20. And this is a T10. I'm guessing that's for all your little adapters that come with it. Then when you first take this off, it is full of oil. So you clean that out, but this kind of is stuck on there. And if it is stuck, just take the slide off and um, poke it through with the little takedown pin you got in your kit, and it'll come right off. I clean out the oil, a lot of people keep it on there saying it prevents rust and everything, but I mean, I'm sure it's a Cerakoted, so it should be fine. Um, so let's take your adapter. Which the difference with both of these adapters is only that this one here has one lip in the front and this one here a lip in the back and a lip in the front um, I'm guessing it's for your different red dot size this one hugs the 507 K pretty nice the only thing is I did have to cut these little nubs off because the hollow sun does not have them in the back it has them in the front but not in the back and it just didn't sit right I'll show you another one so you try to put the red dot on see a little gap right there yeah you'd be aiming down the whole time <laughs> so what I did was I literally just took a blade a little box blade and just held it down and cut it off and it was pretty simple you can take also a dremel tool or something i mean just real, real easy you don't want to shave down anything past the flush mount as you can see there i believe these are like um torque specs of 15 inch pounds if i'm not mistaken not too sure look at the manual for that i just go with the old gluten tight but not too tight because i mean you don't want to strip these little screws that is on there you go that is a circle dot it's just hard to tell on the camera I don't think I'm gonna be able to uh, kind of but there she is just gotta go zero this in looks pretty close um, also one last thing it is your magazine release so like I said comes with three different sizes this is the small I believe this is the medium yep and uh, the large one so there you can see the difference I went with the medium I mean with the small just because if I do carry this I don't want it to be accidentally pressed. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can even carry it like this. Just don't like the little hole. The texture is pretty nice though. So, you go with the large. You screw it in. And that's how much it protrudes compared to without it. I think it came in with a medium. It's just that's a small that one right there. Not too big of a difference. I just don't like the way the hole looks. I mean, you can probably just put the screw in there and leave it, but we'll go with the small one. Doesn't make too big of a difference. Again, you don't want to over tighten it. Uh, 
And yeah, there she goes. She, to me, is gorgeous. Not too shabby. The barrel is fluted. I don't know if I said that. That looks beautiful. Not a big fan of chrome, but it looks good on this gun. I'm not going to lie. I do wish I could put an RMR on here. They have an adapter. I can't remember the company name. I'll try to put it down there if I remember. That's an adapter from you know your regular cut to your RMR cut. But what I do like about this is how flush it is to the frame. Like it doesn't protrude out there. Like in many other guns. Kind of like this one. See you got that hangover. So just looks a little more form fitting. Does have the magwell well installed already. You can take it off. You have that screw. Again, the little tools. Put you out the back strap. Take this off, the magwell comes out, and then this little strap slides down. You slide the new one in. Forgot about that. Yeah, take that pin out too. Um, I think that's pretty much it. The sights are good. You can still co witness as I showed you. Even with the little adapter, I was scared that this was going to bring it up too high, but it's barely anything there. I like that it is lower one third. A lot of them are absolute co witness. Which I am not too big of a fan of. But, you know, to eat your own. It's not horrible. That was a quick unboxing, guys. I got with guns. First shots with the Canik uh, Meta SFT Pro. Okay, now aim at the circle on the right, the bottom right. There you go. Same hole. It's right next to it.